Our story of water quality and agriculture begins high above the region known as the Mississippi Watershed Basin, a system of creeks and rivers, like the Platte, that drain into the Mississippi River. It's like a giant bathtub that covers the middle of our nation. And to figure out what's in the bathtub besides water, you need to look at where it all drains, the Gulf of Mexico. When scientists look at the water in the Gulf, they find an overload of two chemicals, nitrogen and phosphorus. These chemicals grow huge plumes of algae that suck oxygen from the water and block sunlight, causing a hypoxic zone, an area that won't support any fish or wildlife. This area is called the dead zone, and it's estimated to cost the seafood and tourism industries $82 million every year. And despite federal and state task forces, the dead zone is as large as ever, over 5,000 square miles in recent years, and well over the targeted size first set by the EPA in 2001. According to the EPA, farms contribute more than 70% of the nutrients causing the Gulf dead zone. Those chemicals and the sediment will wind up in the Atchafalaya Basin, in the Gulf of Mexico. So it just kind of shows that we need to kind of broaden our overall geographic scope, how we think about chemicals and how they move around. We have to think a little bit more than just yield today. We need to think about the health of the farm. We need to think about the viability of our ag community. 